I have written his vows again and again. Um, and with every draft, I still feel like I have more to say because how can I limit my words for someone who has changed my life in ways that I didn't know they could? You show up for our love every day and I vow to do the same for you every day for the rest of my life. I promise to support you. I promise to laugh with you because you are the funny one. I promise, <laughs> I promise to be patient with you and will work on being patient with you for the rest of my life. And I promise to be the easy part of your life for the rest of our lives together. I love you so much. Lindsay, I tell you every day and today is no exception. You are the love of my life, my best friend, and my partner. You are my soon-to-be wife and the future mother to my children. You make me want to be a better man and bring my best self to our relationship. I look forward to waking up to you every single day and to be the one I come home to. I promise to hold you and never let go. I promise to be the best husband I can for you, the best friend I can, for all our future adventures and the best father to our future children. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for us and to grow alongside you each and every day. But most importantly, Linz, you're the kind of best friend who's there through life's big moments. Whether it's being the maid of honor at my wedding just a week ago, or us learning to drive in driver's ed, you've always been there for me. You are my best friend, my other half, and the sister I never had. Now you're starting the next chapter in your story with Jacob by your side. And Jacob, I hope you know how much you mean to her. When she talks about you, she lights up in a way she never did before. You treat her like she's always deserved to be treated and stay patient even in the hardest moments. Cause let's be honest, Linz has her moments. I have witnessed how much these two love each other, how well they work together, how well Jacob speaks the language of Lindsay. But, but most important, he has shown to me and Jennifer <clears throat> that he too will do anything for our baby girl. Lindsay, I have no doubt if your Grandpa Butch, Grandpa Cliff and Grandma Marion were here, they would feel the same way that your Grandma Pat does. They would be so proud of the man you picked to spend the rest of your life with. Jacob, it gives Jennifer and I great pleasure to say welcome to our family, but more importantly, more importantly, thank you for welcoming us to your family. So this is the part of the ceremony where I make sure everybody knows why we're here. This is a wedding. Hopefully you knew that before you sat down. This is Jacob and this is Lindsay. They're getting married today. Everybody on the same page? Awesome. Let's get going. Today you are entering into something brand new, something that has never happened before in the universe, and at the same time, something that follows God's plan for you. This day and this ceremony is going to feel like a blur. So I want to pause here just for a second. Take a deep breath and take a moment just for the two of you. We're almost there. Jacob and Lindsay. You've agreed to be joined together in the covenant of marriage 
and you've made your vows before God and your community gathered here. You've now exchanged rings that act as a sign and a promise, and I charge each of you to remain faithful to the promises that you've made today. And now by my authority, as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Friends, today it is my distinct privilege and honor to present you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Lindsay and Jacob Dunstall. Thank you. 